The stolen bourbon, Kentucky's most famous product, lined up for all to see. The bust is big, but how significant is the theft? This is uh, on a scale that you haven't seen since Prohibition. As you can see, we got a lot of bourbon up here. Cases and cases of Pappy Van Winkle, some of the most sought after bourbon in the world. Cases of the antique bourbon called Eagle Rare. 18 barrels of varieties of wild turkey recovered by sheriff's detectives from a criminal syndicate of insiders working at two famed Kentucky distilleries, Wild Turkey and Buffalo Trace. All of the bourbon stolen since 2008 and with ease. There was stuff walking out frequently. Police say Gilbert Kurtzinger, a 26-year Buffalo Trace worker, was the ringleader of the nine arrested. Toby Kurtzinger worked on, on the loading docks and as a senior employee, uh, worked down there and had access to about everything. Mike Veach of Louisville, in the Bourbon Hall of Fame as the country's only bourbon historian, says the year 2008 makes total sense when it comes to the beginning of the theft. That's pretty big, you know, because that's really about when the Van Winkle products really started uh, uh, skyrocketing in price. The sheriff says incredibly the workers would drive around in the distillery uniforms with barrels of bourbon in the back and tell people they had some extra bourbon to sell at a discount. The word got around. How many people do you know have a barrel of bourbon in their house? The theft of Pappy made international headlines. Now we know it is much larger than the original 65 cases stolen more than a year ago. I asked Veach why Julian Van Winkle, who created Pappy in his grandfather's honor, would remain with Buffalo Trace as his distilling partner. Julian has a 15-year investment in Buffalo Trace. If he was to leave Buffalo Trace, he'd have to start over with someone else, and he just doesn't have 20 years worth of bourbon stored up. In the end, the sheriff will destroy most of the bourbon because he's not sure about the containers or if what's in them is any good. At least the Van Winkle family can get, uh, get their bottles back since they are in sealed, you know, these sealed bottles. And it also ends the dominant question the Van Winkles told me last year they're tired of hearing. Hey, who stole that pappy? Among those arrested today are family members. Gilbert Kersinger's wife and father-in-law are also charged. Plus, a father and son team are among the nine. And in a text message to me earlier today, Julian Van Winkle did say he's glad they caught somebody and hopes this stops all of the theft.